Okay guys, today we're going to be doing something that I'm pretty excited for, and that is that we are going to be looking at this little knife, as I'm sure the title has already given away, the Legome Bush Knife by LT Wright, Lester River, Bushcraft, and a whole bunch of other people played their hand into this little knife right here. And I gotta say, when I was looking for another bushcrafting knife, I know, another bushcrafting knife, <laughs> I was actually looking to get my hands on something that a lot of us talk about, you know, knives that Morris Gohansky use, uses, and certainly the Mora knives are prevalent, but there's few high-end knives that he really likes and uses, but one of those few is this knife. Now there's also the Skookum bush knife or bush tool, but that one is unfortunately kind of unobtainable and has not been obtainable for a long time, or realistically attainable I should say. But however, the Legome is still very prevalent and very much out there. And this is one that if you watch Morse Kohansky, he doesn't just talk about it or endorse it, but he really uses it out in the woods. In fact, he uses one that's nearly identical to this one because it's an orange handled blade and looks exactly like this. And I have to say that that drew my interest or piqued my interest because I wanted to truly use something that uh, Moore's used to see what he likes in knives and to see what all the hype is about this type of blade style and kind of get a really nice puko styled blade but a little bit of a different it's a puko but not quite a puko kind of idea so far from the first impressions i have to say this is a very fascinating tool and so many times when you use a traditional uh, fixed blade you know you have about a 50 50 uh, blade to handle ratio. On this knife, the handle is definitely larger than the blade, and the blade is a bit smaller. It's very much styled like a Puko, but in the same way, it's not. It has a similar blade shape, but what's very unique to this knife and very much des or inspired by Moore's is the continuous sweeping blade. So this blade never stops sweeping. So it kind of starts out like a recurve or kind of starts with a recurve, starts back and then kind of comes out and then back up. So it's a very interesting blade to use, but from the little bit I have used so far, it is very nice to do things such as feather stick or craft with in general. In addition to that, the tip on this thing is insanely pointed, and I love the way, or the choice, the use of the uh, Scandi grind, because the Scandi grind allows it to still have a lot of thickness, and then very rapidly taper off to an insanely needle point, <laughs> needle-like point. So uh, this thing will be a lot of fun to dress game animals with, I can already tell you that. I'm looking forward to it, because this thing the point and the size are actually really good. And the other thing I'm really happy about with this knife is that the spine is sharpened. And a lot of times companies say the spine is sharpened and that means that they just grind it till it's about 90 degrees, but this is truly sharpened. Like if you're not careful, you can actually cut yourself on the back of this spine. It is that sharp. And of course, that being coupled with the fact that this is O1 tool steel, it throws amazing sparks. So I am pretty ecstatic for, for this thing, uh, at least here to start out. The orange is a little bit flamboyant, I think, but on some knives, I think this one very well may be one of those. It looks pretty suited. Now I have to say the handle itself, it looks kind of bland and boring, but it is very much comfortable and borrows a lot on the Puko styling of knives. So this knife draws heavily, not just from what Moore's specifications are, but also on a lot of Puko styled uh, designs from Scandinavia. I think it's gonna be fun to have a, a nice little neck knife, kind of like knife to have in the, in the fold and to test. So anyways, guys, this is just the first impressions to kind of tell you, unless you guys know what it is, because if you guys see this thing out in the wild in my videos, you're definitely going to notice that it's different from the battle lore. And I wanted to kind of explain what it is and uh, why I got it and what I think it's going to do or, and kind of explain you know, like what my plans are for it. So anyways, that is the LT Wright Legome bush tool or bush knife. And I'm 
really excited to get to work with this thing. Like I said, I've done some preliminary testing with it a little bit, just a little bit here and there. And I have to say that so far it's an extremely impressive design. I can definitely see why Morris has chosen this knife to be one of his. Anyways, guys, that is all for this first impressions. God bless, and I'm out.